Are you wearing compression garments? If you aren't, you should, especially for individuals with lipedema and lymphedema. I'm sharing with you today my toolbox of compression garment wraps. I'm going to specifically showcase a demonstration here on this video of how to use compression therapy to reduce swelling in your legs and extremities. And I'm going to share with you my personalized protocol that I share with my patients initially. I'm super excited to share this video with you. Stay tuned. Welcome friends, I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher and I'm super excited to share with you a more casual video. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to wear compression garments, what types of garments are out there. Are you a little unsure about wearing compression garments? Not sure what they are, how to wear them, I've received hundreds of questions from viewers like you. If you are not using this specialized treatment protocol on a daily basis, you are totally missing the boat on managing your lymphedema. I'm sharing with you today my toolbox of compression garment therapy resources, and I'm going to demo how to wear compression garments. So I'm really excited, as many of you know, I'm always talking about resources and how I want to build for you toolbox of wellness resources you can always go to and pull from to minimize swelling, to enhance your reduction of fluid retention, and ultimately get you the life you want to be living again, even though you might have a lipedema or a lymphedema diagnosis. Today I'm sharing with you my lipedema and lymphedema toolbox. These are compression garments as well as other resources that we're going to implement in our skincare and pre-compression wrap protocol. I'm going to be demonstrating for you the different types of compression garments that exist for individuals with lipedema and lymphedema. This is appropriate for all stages. You do not have to have extremely swollen, fluid-filled limbs or extremities to begin compression wear. And in fact, that is the most important time to begin wearing compression garments and compression therapy because that is really the true way for us to reverse and minimize the swelling and pooling of fluid and excess lymph fluid that often becomes more of a debilitating situation as we get to stage three and stage four of these different lymph-related disorders. I'm really excited to share with you as well the beginning protocol, the pre wear protocol that I implement with all of my patients. This is my gift to you today. Super excited to share with you. I know that these are going to be impactful because they impact all of my patients in super positive ways. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating lower extremity compression wear. So I'm really going to showcase one leg, my right leg, and how I implement compression therapy to reduce swelling in a foot, an ankle, a calf, the lower leg, knee, and upper leg, the thigh up to the hip. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you here. So the first course of action before we do any type of compression wear is you want to have your topical skincare routine and the resources available. So the first thing that I always recommend, if you have followed any of my lymphatic related videos, I'll link up here, you know dry skin brushing is a huge part of our treatment and our protocol, so you wanna have a dry skin brush. I'm just gonna share with you what I, what I want you to gather. You definitely wanna have the Lymph Stem. This is a homeopathic product that I sell in my store. I'll provide a link down below where you can purchase this. All new patients need to enter code 6010 to purchase this item, but it's very helpful for moving the lymphatics. Similarly, we're gonna do some topical applications of some swelling reducing medicine as well as pain relieving medication. And the duo that I combine always it is tea relief gel or cream. This happens to be a cream that I'm gonna be using today. So I'll include a link down below. And then also CBD cream. This is more clinically oriented where it can help with the lipedema pain because the lipedema pain is often one of the reasons why I hear patients choosing not to wear compression therapy. And in fact, that choice to not wear compression therapy or even not even being aware of it is the main reason why the extremities 
continue to grow and hold fluid. So if we can compress, then we are managing the situation and we are beginning to minimize fibrotic, tight, hard tissue, minimize the redness and the inflamed state of the skin, minimize wound and eruptions of the dermal layers. So these two items are going to be crucial. And then also before we begin our wrapping, I actually implement, this is a tool, this would be more considered a massage therapy tool, but fascia blasting, fascia breaking up the fascia, which is basically this uh, very thin lining that holds in our muscles and holds in our tissues. It's like a girdle, if you will. Sometimes the fascia gets really tight. We see in lipedema cases, when we rub on the areas that are tight and really kind of rub and massage these in, that we can start to break up the fascia. So that's another tool that I'm going to have you gather in your toolbox. The first course is to do dry skin brushing. And I promise I'm going to be doing more of a detailed video on lower extremity dry skin brushing, but the, the way I want you to begin your dry skin brushing is actually up in the abdomen. So the legs drain up to the abdomen. You drive, grab your dry skin brush. It has to be dry and your skin has to be dry and it's actually on skin. So obviously the purpose of this video, I'm wearing my clothing, but traditionally you would not be. And so you would be doing a round circular pattern uh, just underneath the breast, uh, right where the rib cage meets in that point right there. So you do a circular pattern and this is a main uh, drain. Many folks have a cluster of eight to nine lymph nodes that actually are draining the lower abdomen. So you do dry, a round circle with a brush, dry skin, dry brush, circle, circle, circle. And then you locate your belly button and you do round circles, circular patterns over the entire belly button starting small and expanding out wider, basically from the left to right. So you literally are going to be moving where you're touching the right and left hips. Now, obviously with lip edema, there's going to be cases where we're holding more fluid. Just get all of that. So you really wanna expose all of the skin. What I recommend if you have a fold anywhere on your body is just lift it up and brush downward. So. What I do is just really kind of move that fluid, start to break up some of that fibrotic tissue. That's when you could implement your roller and roll on that space. This is great because it's very flexible. And so it will go over all different kind of types of textural and structural differences in the skin. So you're doing dry skin brushing around the abdomen. And then I'm gonna stand up and show you, this is really a key point, the inguinals. This is right where the hip and the leg meet. It's our groin, lower pelvic region, sometimes lower than the pelvic bone itself. This is a clustering of lymph nodes. So in this space, there are an assortment of lymph nodes that are draining your legs and they're draining the lower abdomen. This tends to be a space where I find folks have very palpable tender lymph nodes and even swollen lymph nodes. And a lot of times when we are doing testing, and we see lymphatic function, that's often a space where there are very poorly functioning lymph nodes, if not any lymph nodes functioning, and part of the issue with the fluid. So we really wanna move that fluid. I'm gonna show you a front space, how to move in the front, and then also an alternate route behind the legs. So I'm gonna stand up and showcase this for you. So right here in the inguinals, you're just gonna see my uh, lower body. You wanna do sweeping, sweep, 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 sweep. So you've done the belly button circle and you just sweep, 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 sweep. Basically from the hip bone all the way down into the lower pelvic region. So I'm gonna continue on with our dry skin brushing of the leg. I'm gonna stand up again. And basically you wanna start at the knee and do sweeps like this all the way up the knee, back of the leg, inside of the leg. And you can do circular patterns all the way up to the inguinals. We're just sweeping, 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 sweeping inside, around the knee, a big point, the outer and inner part of the knee. I see a lot of individuals that have pockets of fluid. You really wanna access that. And again, this type of fascia blaster is really great for the knees. That actually might help break up some of the fluid and the fibrotic tissue that's causing difficulty in mobility. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you the dry skin brushing here on the lower leg. The big area that you wanna address is behind the knee and you want to do sweeps behind the knee 
And I'm seated, which is usually how people do dry skin brushing on the lower extremity. You basically sweep all the way up the leg from the ankle up to the knee and around. And the ankles are another area where we see kind of an encasing, a folding over of the fluid. So you want to do circular, circular patterns and then target those reflexology points. Check out this video for more about that. But you can dry skin brush that, brush your leg. All right, so that is step one, dry skin brushing your leg before application. Step two, grab your tea relief gel or cream. I happen to have the cream here. This is a white kind of creamy cream. And basically you smear it all over the leg. Any of the areas that are having a lot of swelling, a lot of pain, and just where you're feeling like you're holding a lot of fluid pockets. Just liberal application. You can apply this as frequently as you want. This tea relief gel is magical when it comes to helping reduce swelling. So it has Arnica is its main ingredient and then there are 13 other homeopathic medications that move and enhance lymph flow and begin to reduce the pain. But for my lip edema cases, and this video series is lip edema management specific, but not specific enough where we're not targeting also our lymphedema cases. Often pain is accompanied with lip edema, actually intense pain, intense pain around the knees. That's actually one of the most Googled um, topics for lip edema patients, pain around the knees, painful knees. So what I want you to do, and I will include a link to this, this is really high quality, potent CBD cream. The CBD oil is infused in the cream and it just goes on topically. So you literally, it has a menth menthol camphor smell. And so your legs might smell a little camphory, but it's okay. What you do is you just smear this cream and you can be as liberal as you want with this as well. Smear it over the area where, or areas where you have a lot of pain. And again, those knees and the arthritic pain, which is very common, lymph node pain, you can slather this in the inguinals. You can target really all areas of your body. There's different levels. The one that I often see most lipedema cases go for is level four, which is more severe. And that cream bottle will last you a good amount of time if you're just using it on some of those pain points. So that we really target. And again, if you have ankle related pain, slather it on the ankles. And then I want to move right on into the beginning part of wrapping your leg. So most of you have actually emailed me. I am just blown away by the response of my lipedema management series videos here this month of June. And the biggest question that I found was coming my way on YouTube and my social sites and email was a significant amount of people were not wearing compression garments at all. And those that were we're wearing things like these, like compression socks, very, very stretchy, minimal compression. This is the lowest kind of grade of compression, but necessary under compression wrap. So these are things that are not really going to help support a lipedema case. But when we look at wrapping a leg or an extremity like an arm, we get into more a potent, tighter density of compression wear. So a compression sock, this is a compression sock. For lipedema cases and lymphedema cases that are progressed where you're not seeing a reduction in fluid at all, socks you wanna throw up. Socks are not going to be helpful. What you need is more intense compression wear. So this is an understocking. This is what we would put underneath a wrap. So I wanna share with you what's in my toolbox. So today for demo sake, I'm going to demo wrapping a foot. This includes an ankle, so this is an ankle wrap. We are going to wrap a calf, so this is a lower leg. And it's got stitching, it's really tight, tight uh, compression. Then we're gonna wrap the knee, so we have a knee wrap. And you'll see how this all works together. And then we have a thigh high and there are different measurements. Some of these are, you're able to purchase right off the shelf, uh, depending on the sizes. Some of these wraps, they go up to uh, 3X, 2X and 3X. Others we need to have custom made. But whatever your case is, I work with folks and we get you what you need. 
All right, so I wanna show you the beginning phase of compression therapy. And I wanna show you what this looks like. This is a webbed knit wear, and it has some give. Okay, so you can see it's got a lot of elasticity and it's got a lot of give here. So you want give where it's, it's compressing all areas of your leg. I'm going to step right on into this. These are easy to get into because again, they're on the lower grade of compression wear. And so you literally treat this like you would when you wear, if you were to wear a pantyhose where you begin at the feet, point where you line up your toes with the stitching. And you basically bring this all the way up to your thigh high. So I'm gonna share with you. My legs, these are a little long. And as is the case with compression wear, we just kind of improvise as is needed. I'm just folding this down a little bit, but you can see it goes all the way up to your, the top of your leg, the inguinal. So this is key because we wanna compress the whole entire leg. So first step is a foot wrap. So these foot wraps are crucial. Anytime we are dealing with any type of swelling or fluid retention in the leg and we're gonna compress, we always wanna include a foot wrap because we don't wanna push the fluid down into the leg. Most lymphedema cases have minimal foot swelling and if there is, it tends to be reduced with compression and elevation. My lymphedema cases are totally opposite. I have some folks that just their feet swell and this is all we need. And in that case, the stocking would be best underneath this. But because I'm going to wrap my whole entire leg, I am going to be wearing this leg thigh high stocking. This foot wrap is Velcro. I'm a huge fan of Velcro wraps, but they are not the only thing that is accessible for you. I like and prefer Velcro compression wraps for a multitude of reasons. One of the reasons is because of lip edema, we tend to have an uneven, non-sculptured leg where there's folds and ridges and fibrotic tissue. The Velcro allows me as a therapist working with individuals one-on-one -on -one, to get greater compression. So I'm gonna just step right on into this and I'm going to Velcro this over. I'm gonna Velcro this over and I, it has one spot that has no Velcro on it. You just pull it and put that. So there we go. I have a very flexible, ready to wear foot wrap. It's also supporting my ankle, as you can see. So next up is the calf wrap. And these are all Velcro again. I love them because we can get really specific wear. And often, in my cases with lip edema that I work with, it's not uncommon during the hour-long lymphatic therapy lymphedema treatment, where I do manual treatment, I do laser treatment, fibrotic tissue breaking up. It's not uncommon to have an individual lose five to six pounds, seriously, of fluid. And they continue to wear the compression and they can adjust as the fluid goes down. That's what's so great about the Velcro. Velcro tends to be one of the most effective ways for us to get a symmetry to the leg that mirrors what your leg used to look like. So I wanna share with you this. This, the smaller wrap piece is at the bottom, bigger piece is at the top. It has the stitching, really tight material. It's almost like the type of material that they use for scuba gear. So I just position my leg. And again, because you are going to be seated, I know this is, tends to be the easiest way I see my patients putting on these wraps. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo wrapping myself up. And it's, it's great. There's really no way to make a mistake. It's user-friendly. It's lymphedema for dummies, if you will, in terms of just wrapping. You can have friends and family help you. It's not some you know crazy exact science. So super simple, I'm just wrapping my, my calf up and so there you have it. I'm fully wrapped on the lower leg and I can still fit my fingers down. It's a good check to make sure it's comfortable. Lots of flexibility. And I'm going to move on to the knee wrap. So. Again, with the knees, this can be really problematic for many people. And I actually use pads and I wanna show you 
these are actually pads that I use for ankles. You know, a lot of times folks have the whole, the folding over of the ankles. These are called Malio pads. And this is just something, I'll do a specific video. I'm thinking about doing a video course on wrapping. And if it's something that you think you'd want to engage. All right, so I'm going to put on my knee pad. So this is great for compressing. Let me show you what it looks like. So there's an internal wrap part. So this folds in here. So this is what we're gonna first wrap and then we wrap the outside. So you wrap right over the knee, the top of the knee. This is a stabilizer for a wrap. And you position it where it's most comfortable. And we just wanna do right in the middle of the knee. So see, just like that. And then I'm going to wrap the bottom here. So I'm picking up where my calf left off and let's grab, I'm gonna get a little closer. You can get really specific around the knee. So let's say you've got folding and fluid hanging over here. You could tuck in a knee pad anywhere in here and really get that compression. So I'm gonna stabilize my, my leg and wrap over. So see, Ooh, I'm still flexible, still mobile, still comfortable. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the thigh high. So again, the wraps continue the process. So we pick up right just where we stopped with the other wrap. And again, kind of position this underneath. So I'm gonna show you, this is what we're gonna be wrapping. See? Okay. I'll go ahead and get this kicking off. I'm gonna wrap. So compression therapy, this is what I recommend. As I'm wrapping, I'm just gonna talk to you. It is highly important to do on a daily basis. Um, ideally, if you can't do it every day, do it at night while you sleep. That can help um, give you additional lymph fluid flowing and compression at night. The other thing too is if you use these types of wraps and you have the under stocking, You'd want to definitely have a set of these. So you get two per leg, but this stocking underneath is the one that you want multiples because then you can be washing them and having them dry and, and be able to continue your wrapping. So that's a big thing that people don't really think about in terms of the investment. So as you can see, I'm at the top. I have really long legs, so I actually need a, a, a longer version but you kind of get a gist. This can actually go all the way up. Now I've had a lot of people ask me, what do you do when you get a lot of that hangover? These are all very common questions. And so I want to share with you a genital pad because this is really crucial for also supporting that panis, the lower abdomen. So a genital pad, literally, this is what it looks like. And there's padding. So you kind of see there's a thickness to it and it has ridges. You say the ridges, this, the ridges are what actually get the fluid moving. So I want to share with you literally in underwear or stocking, you can even put this in biker shorts. A lot of women will wear compression shorts. I have all of these items in my store. I have an online store. These are all products I also sell retail in my clinic. This genital pad would literally go inside underwear or whatever, uh, biker shorts you're wearing and this wraps down and this literally can take care of compressing the lower panis and compresses the lower region where I have a lot of women who say okay great Melissa I'm wrapping but I have a lot of overhang or this is too wide and I literally am straddling a toilet and this is a reality in the world of lip lipedema and lymphedema where there's so much fluid that is very hard for access points to actually urinate. This genital pad for both men and women, there are men and women versions, this becomes crucial. This genital pad is going to be absolutely essential for helping reduce some of that fluid and the pockets here on the inner thigh. Genital swelling can get in the way of a normal urine flow and that is a reality. I, I guarantee you're probably not gonna see any videos that talk about this, 
but I feel I need to because this is the reality of the day-to-day -day life. My goal for you is to give you tools and equip you with toolbox of resources, but more importantly, let you live life normally without having to worry or constantly be thinking about the fluid and the swelling. So this gentle toe pad is really resourceful. And if you have any questions about this or want to check this out, purchase one. Even if you don't buy or start to incorporate compression therapy immediately, this would be a crucial item in your toolbox. And I will provide a link below for you to check out. My favorite vendor that has this is Juzo. I love them. And it comes to you in this little pack and we uh, drop ship two days to you. So super fast. I can drop ship this or any of the on the shelf items to you in two days. So super quick turnaround in terms of shipping these items to you, their size charts, and I can email those and have those accessible online. I hope this was helpful. I hope you see, like, look, I am super flexible. Walking is very comfortable. <clears throat> I don't feel at all at any type of discomfort. And you can wear shoes with this wrap. And then if it starts to get loose, which is very common, you can just kind of do a quick adjustment. You can do that at home, at work, whatever. So that is the beginning stages of compression therapy. For many of my stage three and stage four cases of both lymphedema and lipedema, we have to invest in custom garments. And I have vendors that will custom fit for us and we can get usually the turnaround time from the vendor between seven and 10 days. One of my vendors is actually manufacturing in Germany and they are instantly fit to you. We just need all the measurements. So friends, I hope this video was helpful. I hope if you are not compressing your legs or extremities that you will begin to consider it a very significant part of your lymphatic and lipedema management care. If I can be a resource for you again, I have a special that I'm running for all my lipedema cases and patients here. I'll include a link there. It's a 30 minute consultation virtual or over the phone with me and it's $40 super, super deal for you guys because I'm so, I'm so driven to help educate and impart resources and to give you things that I know that you're not getting. Usually what I find patient, patients have a hard time even getting a diagnosis. When they do get a diagnosis, the next course or next doctor they see is a surgical doctor that wants to do suction assisted lipectomies or liposuction surgery. And there's no in between. And, and some folks don't want a surgical option. So I want to give you resources in that middle space. So I'm super excited again for having you invite me into your life. And I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I am going to be having one more specific video come out next Tuesday that I think will be helpful for you. And I'm really excited to have you try these resources out, please check out my store. Again, that supports my channel. It supports my ability to reach you in this format, but more importantly, it will be extremely resourceful and beneficial for you. And I encourage you, if you are on Facebook, every Friday I am having a lunch date with all of my patients and subscribers and followers and customers. We are on Facebook live at 12 noon Easter times. So I hope you'll check out my Facebook page. I'll put a link there. My URL is your natural health resources. So if you search your natural health resources on Facebook, you'll actually find my page. Please like and follow and you'll be notified of my live video. It's a, an episode I am running on Facebook at noon Eastern time. And the topic of June's Facebook live episodes is digestive health awareness. And in fact, there's a gut link with all of the lymphatic and lipedema issues. So I'm super excited for you to check that and join me over there and stay tuned for more videos, everybody. Have a great day.